Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dice Throne Talk. Today we are going to be talking about another Season 1 character here, the Monk. The Monk is a, another favorite of mine, especially from Season 1 when we only had Season 1. I would primarily play the Paladin and the Monk, my two favorite characters overall, for uh, different reasons. Mainly because Monk-wise, he's a, more of a, you call, utility player. Uh, he has your evasive to evade any big damage coming in, chi to help mitigate any damage coming in, or add damage coming out, uh, knocking people down, try to keep people off of their CP best they can, and then cleansing any negative status effects that someone may inflict on him. So overall, big old utility player can hit hard, also kind of evade a little bit, so... We're gonna do the same thing as usual here as we're gonna be rolling some dice, see what we can get, how easy we can roll for the monk. He is a higher complex, uh, complexity as than let's say the barbarian or the moon elf. Um, it, it, he's a pretty fun one to play overall, I enjoy him. And we'll see if we can get different ones uh, without any CP or cards. Uh, the main thing when I play the monk Right out of the gate is I'm going to go for that Meditate, gain that 5 chi, Evasive or a Cleanse. I'm going to do that Evasive if it is more of a big heavy hitter. Or Cleansing if it's someone like the Moon Elf where it's going to be inflicting a lot of status effects on me. So let's start rolling and see what happens here. Okay, so we have three sixes and two fives. So obviously if we had some... Um, CP or card effects, um, I would definitely take the three sixes on this. Uh, however, we don't have any of that right now, and I ha still need to get another one. Uh, one in six chance I would get it, and it kind of goes up a little bit, but at the same time, it can go really down because I'm also one away from a, a four or a five. So let's try to go for the four or five and end up getting. A uh, six, three, three, and a five. Um, I'm definitely going to try and re-roll these. Now, I could get Tempest Rush, which is always pretty good. Um, so, I'm going to try to go for the four or a five. We ended up getting the three, four, five, six out of that, which is pretty awesome. So, it gives us either the ability to meditate or uh, Fist of Harmony, deal five damage, then gain two chi. Um, First turn right out of the gate, I'm just going to go get that five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and then gain the evasive or the cleanse. Uh, probably right out of the gate, I would get the evasive as well. I'm probably not going to get that cleanse right away unless it's someone, let's say, uh, Moon Elf or maybe the Cursed Pirate, um, something that's going to give me a negative status effect. Maybe even the uh, pyromancer with the burn or the poisons, what have you. So, so that's number one there. And we'll roll again here. Alrighty, so we got a two, one, two, three. Right there. Can we get a four? We don't. But we do have Combo Strike, so we can deal six. And on a four, we gain two Chi, so deal six damage. We could spend this, all five, to make it 11 damage. And then gain uh, the two Chi. The reason why you can do this is because uh, alternative uh, Chi... Tokens may be spent at any time to reduce incoming damage by one. Alternatively, alternatively, if your offensive roll face attack would deal damage, you may spend a chi token to increase that damage by one, which is what we're doing. Chi may not be used to increase damage the turn that it is gained. So we spent five that we gained last turn, and then we gained two this turn. So got a combo strike, got to meditate there. So, uh, four, five, six, right out of the gate here. Oops, this is a four. Now the question here, do you go for meditate again? Do you go for 
So let's say we used the evasive on this. Um, you only have a stack limit of five, and um, I'm, I'm actually gonna try to go for a three right now. Let's see what happens, a one and a six, which is kind of unfortunate here. Um, I would probably roll these ones and go for a fist strike, a combo strike, um, something basic. That was a one. So you got a one, two, four, five. Right there. And so that'll do the fist strike. And we could add this as well to make it um, six damage. Alrighty. So there's our meditate right there. And we could definitely do that right now to get our five chi back. And also get a cleanse if we ever need that cleanse at any time. Alrighty, so we got three, four, five with a two. And definitely a straight there. So let's try to go for that big straight. Alright, so we another choice here. If for any reason that uh, your chi got spent uh, during your defensive uh, phase, uh, you could go for meditate again or go for the small straight. And we would do the small straight here. So you would spend these and then add that damage. So it'd be 10 damage overall. And then you'd gain the two back. Alrighty. So two, three, four, five again. So he definitely likes his straights, obviously. There's a two, four, a large straight deal seven damage. Add the two. We'll get that two back and then gain uh, invasive as well. So as you can see, uh, it's a little more thought process in terms of what you have status wise, uh, whether it be chi, a cleanse, evasive, what have you, um, and then trying to go off that first roll and see what you can do with this. So I definitely don't want to really do meditate again as I have a cleanse, I have invasive, I have two chi right now. Um, if I had a defensive roll and gain a, another chi, this is not something I'd really be looking for, but maybe the combo strike. And at this point in time, I know I need a three, but I actually roll all of these. The reason why is because a one and two is a fist. Um, there's a likelihood of me getting that. Or I do that right there. And see, that's another thing is that could happen. So uh, I can just get that too. Get another evasive max up on my chi. Uh, it's not a whiff by any means. So four, five, six. And then you also have that one, two, that wonderful split. Um... So on this point in time, you know, maybe roll these two, roll for, I'd probably roll these three and go, try to go for that combo strike. Three, four, or the small straight right there. Three, four, five, and another large straight, spending your chi, getting those back, and you, using your evasives, your cleanses, what have you. Uh, we'll do it one more time here. So three, four, five, six. Another straight. Two, three, four, five, six. Another straight right there. Let's try to go for Tempest Rush. Let's see if we can force it. Force a Tempest Rush. Alrighty. So three right there. Now the six, and we actually got our Tempest Rush right there. So roll three dice, which is a two, four, eight. Deal damage equal to the total value rolled. Uh, so let's say if we spent the two chi, we're saying that we're gonna roll at least a four on one of these, which I probably wouldn't do. I would just spend the two chi to make it 10 overall, 
rather than risk it and not get a four better. Oh, there's a six though, but it would have been 10 damage overall. So obviously, luck of the dice on that one, but we were able to get Tempest Rush on that. Can we do it one more time? Let's see if we can do it. Uh, three, four, or four, five, six. Obviously a straight right there. Two, three, four, four, six. And we did not get it, but and we did still get combo strike out of it. So uh, definitely luck of the draw right there. Um, the nice part about it is that you do have different ways to get different abilities, different attacks. If you're trying to roll something, you may roll into something else. The I think the trick with the monk a little bit is that you may roll meditate, but you don't want meditate because you're maxed out on your chi and maxed out on your cleanse and evasives. So, or it's, you're looking to deal damage and that's all you get. And, um, or maybe your tempest rush goes a little low and you're out of chi at that time, what have you. So, um, it can be a little, um, that meditate can kind of get you every so often, but usually it's a good thing to get. Uh, don't be upset if you do roll it. Um, a couple things with the cards here. Uh, fist Strike, two and three. Um, I'm, I'm more prone to use the two than the three. Only reason why is the only difference is three of a kind and flick knockdowns. A little easier on this one because you need a one or a two for this only rather than one, two, three. Um, but saving that CP, I like the two better than the three. Uh, meditate. I love upgrading this one whenever I can, especially early in the game. The reason why, Max Chi. Uh, so if you get Transcendence or Lotus Strike, what have you, that increases your Chi Max. Uh, this is fantastic. And then you get an Invasive and a Cleanse. It's not a choice of either. And then on the bottom is Zen Strike, which can happen quite a bit. Deal six damage, gain two chi. Um, fantastic one to get. Uh, Fist of Harmony two, uh, you're gaining one damage and gaining one chi. It's not really not bad at all because you want to gain chi as much as possible, not having to roll for meditate to spend a turn to get that chi back up. If you can gain chi other ways with a defensive roll and another attack, I would really suggest that more so than the meditate. Um, it's only two CP. Uh, Lotus Strike two, uh, fantastic one because now you're dealing descendable, seven def undefendable damage rather than dealing five defendable damage, increasing the chi stack, and then Way of Lotus is always great as well. So, um, fantastic ability. Combo Strike two. Um, dealing six damage, rolling two dice instead of one, which is really nice. You're getting that extra die to do something additional and for only two CP. Uh, Tempest Rush two, still only rolling three dice, deal damage equal to the total value rolled. Uh, if the only thing is dealing at least 12 damage, inflict knockdown. Uh, if that's the only thing is knockdown, I'm not too concerned about this one. Um, I would probably save this in my hand to use it for CP for another card. Uh, not exactly uh, the one I want to spend CP on for upgrades. Uh, first, Fist of Tranquility, uh, dealing some damage, gain three Chi Invasive from Flick Knockdown. A little bit better, I would say, um, than the Tempest Rush. And then the Way of the Monk, getting one of each. Three evasives, which is your max, dealing two undefendable. Um, always nice to deal that little undefendable here and there as well. And then your serenity two and three. Uh, I actually kind of like the three better than the two. The only reason why it's a one CP difference. You're going to be able to gain an invasive or a cleanse on a Zen and a Lotus. So it's not either or. It's you have to get both of those. Uh, you're rolling five dice instead of four. Um, and then these upper uh, abilities are the same. Um, I just kind of like it a little bit better. It's a high CP cost. Um, but if I had a choice, an ability to, I'd use the four CP. Just realize that 
the monk is not great on collecting a whole lot of CP, so you're going to be saving up or spending quite a few cards for that. For rolling, uh, better D's uh, not bad, especially when you just have uh, Serenity and not upgrade at all. And let's say you roll a whole lot of maybe Palms or Lotuses, what have you. Maybe they'll use this to get the Chi or the damage that you're looking for. Same is always good to have. Uh, try, try again. We roll up to do two dice. Uh, you may need to in reference um, to trying to get something particularly. Um, you may want to try to use that, but always good to sell. Um, always good to have as well. Helping hand. One more time, uh, additional offensive roll phase. Uh, as you saw, I did not whiff at all, so that your ability to try to get something without any CP or cards is there. Um, but if you're finding that you're trying to go for that ultimate ability or something particular, and you may need that extra one, it's right there. Not this time. It's always good to have not this time. I love this card, uh, especially if you're out of chi and someone tries to hit you for heavy damage to try to sneak it in, um, either be out of chi or no evasives, and you still have this to try to keep them mentally from they thought that they got through and then they didn't. Um, it's always nice to have this, but I want to say it's a requirement particularly because you should have chi, should have evasives to mitigate a lot of that damage. Uh, six it is always good to have, and you're so wild. You may need these ever so often in order to get the street that you need or something other than you meditate or maybe Tempest Rush going for your big attack, what have you, or maybe you're trying to get your uh, one of these upgraded defensive abilities, what have you. Um, you may need it more so for yourself than others, but it kind of depends on how well you're rolling. Uh, you have the Palm Strike. So inflict knockdown on a target opponent. Not, I would sell this one most of the times, uh, unless it's someone that has a hard time getting a lot of CP, maybe late in the game, they've used up all their CP, not a whole lot of cards, you get this. Um, just knock them down. Just try to keep them down as you can. It may be a good thing to do. Uh, enlightenment, zero CP. Roll a die on six. Gain two chi, evasive, and a cleanse. Uh, it's the promo card. If you're able to get that, awesome. Gain the chi, evasive, and cleanse is what you're trying to do. Vegas Baby is always a use. Get that out of here. And what status effects? You have your cleanses. Cleanses will take effect of these. These will be more of a sell for me for the monk because your cleanses do that anyways for you. Um, I would use this more so maybe in terms of Shadow Thief and they're in the shadows. Why well, don't we get that shadows out of there? Uh, maybe I'm gonna use something to get a positive status effect away from the opponent rather than for myself. Uh, same thing for Transference. And Mystic Mantra, three CP. Gain a Chi, Evasive, and a Cleanse. Inflict Knockdown on a target opponent. So as you can kind of see here, a little bit of similarity here. Uh, the only difference is rolling the die. You get two Chi, um, Evasive, Cleanse, so, and the Knockdown. I would rather use this than this, but um, just because of the CP and what you had to use to get your upgraded abilities. Uh, contemplate, gain two chi. I like this one a whole lot. Save this until maybe you want to add additional attack or you got to mitigate some damage coming in. Uh, gain pay is always good. Double up. Um, always nice to have to get more cards in your hand trying to get more CP. Uh, tip it's always good. But buy again, probably not a crucial one to have because your cleanses, but more so for your opponent's side. And Ruminate, uh, very costly one, 3 CP, gain 5 Chi. Really, you shouldn't need to get this. Um, this may be a last-ditch effort. You're in emergency mode right now, and you need to, get, need to get some extra Chi in there to mitigate some damage, then maybe. Um, but otherwise, I would save this in my hand until I would use it for a, a twice as wild, so wild 6 it, something else that's more needed, more helpful for you, and more cost-effective. 
So that is the Monk overall. Um, if you haven't already, check out a couple of our videos of the Monk facing off against different opponents. I think the last one he faced off against was the Moon Elf. Um, in terms of Dice Throne Adventures, I'd be very happy to play as the Monk. The reason why is a lot of those adventures, those dungeons, those monsters, minions, what have you, they do a lot of negative status effects. Having that cleanse on you, or maybe somebody else, uh, is a fantastic thing to have all the time to keep those negative status effects off you. Knocking them down so they have to spend their CP in order to attack, uh, and then evading damage. Then you're using your chi to add additional damage to your attack. I really, really like the monk on this one. Rolling with him is not extremely difficult either. Um, I, I could see myself playing as the monk for my first playthrough of Dice Throne Adventures. So let me know down below how, how you like the monk. Uh, if you roll well with him, maybe you don't. Uh, maybe you have some other strategies or uh, comments you want to make about the monk. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.